All right, folks, this video is dedicated to everyone out there who has just got back from a vacation. Motivation is low and they're struggling to get back on track. It might even be for those people who have not been on vacation at all, are just struggling to get back in the zone with the training and nutrition. So hopefully these tips will get you back to where you want to be. So one of the first things that I do after getting back from any kind of trip or vacation is just get rid of any forms of temptation that might be in the house. Because I know myself very well. And if there's anything there, I'm going to eat it eventually. It might not be now, but in four hours time, you know, when it gets to like nine o'clock in the evening, I'll start rummaging and if there's a box of cereal there, that whole box of cereal is going to get eaten. Particularly if I'm feeling sorry for myself and unhappy that I'm no longer on holiday. So luckily I live by myself, so I'm in complete control over what's in my house. If you do live with a partner, I've got your own kids, it's a little bit harder, but just try and maybe get them to hide it so you don't know the whereabouts of what it might be. So one thing I always try and do whenever I get back from a holiday or a vacation is to do my shop food shop as soon as I can because if I don't there's gonna be no food in the house which means I can't do any meal prep which means that I'm going to eat out the next day and that usually just means that I'm gonna carry on doing that until I actually do the shop itself so honestly it's the last thing I want to do I don't want to go shopping I don't want to walk around a supermarket especially after I've had a really good time wherever it is that I've been but it's just one of those things that you have to do so get it done you can go home and start doing some meal prep So the next thing you want to crack on with is the meal prep, ideally after the food shop. Now this by far is my least favourite task out of all of them. I really do not enjoy it all, but it's something which I just need to do because nobody else is going to do it for me. And I know that if I don't prep my meals, then the temptation for me to eat out or get takeaways is going to be high. And then I get in the habit of doing that on a day to day basis. So just force yourself to do it and that way you have all your food sorted for the next day. And once you get to the habit of doing your meal prep, it's not actually that bad but just try and keep yourself entertained when you do it listen to a podcast listen to music and hopefully it will fly by and it's all done so for most people you're either going to be in one or two scenarios you've either under eaten and you've lost weight or you've overeaten and you've gained weight i think most people will probably have overeaten and gained a bit of weight so if that is the case what i'd recommend you do is actually place yourself in a slight calorie deficit maybe you were doing this before your holiday maybe you weren't but i would probably drop your calorie intake by 250, 300 calories, do that for a couple of days and you'll notice that quite a lot of the holiday blow or weight gain will disappear pretty quickly because a lot of it is water weight. If you have lost weight, I don't recommend you just pack on the calories because there's a set rate at which you can build muscle mass. So I would just go straight back to what your bulking calories were. Okay, so put yourself in a slight calorie surplus maybe 200, 250 calories more than your maintenance levels. One thing I recommend you do is write down some new goals with a pen and paper and get it drilled into your head. Okay, it doesn't matter what the goals are, whether it's fitness goals, weight loss goals, life goals, business goals, just write down some goals so it's clear in your head what it is that you're working towards and it'll allow you just to keep on track and to get back into the game because I noticed in the past if I don't have any goals to work towards and I'm just gonna aimlessly just float about with no purpose, so get that done as soon as possible. So when I come back from my trip, I like to train my favorite muscle groups. And I'd ask you guys the same things. What is it you actually genuinely enjoy training? And just go and train it. There's no point in trying to force yourself to do the thing you enjoy training the least as the first session when you get back from a trip. Because realistically, you're just gonna put it off and you won't get it done. So go train what you like doing, and that's the hardest bit out of the way. You're now gonna be back into a good routine. From that point, you can look to increase the intensity and increase the difficulty of the workouts. So another thing I recommend you do is hop on the scales so you've gained weight, lost weight, and I recommend that you take progress photos of yourself. So self timer, use a camera or your iPhone, see what you look like at that current point in time after your vacation. You're probably not gonna look the best. You may be absolutely disgusted at your current condition, but that'll probably motivate you to actually get yourself back on track. And you can use it as a new starting point. So it's very similar to setting new goals. You can look at that photo, look at yourself and decide, do you want to bulk, do you want to cut? What muscle groups do you want to focus on? Now, if you are in the situation where you haven't been to the shops, you don't have any groceries and there's no food in the house, then you're probably gonna get a takeaway or eat out. Now, I recommend that you don't go for the worst options available. Don't go for Domino's, don't go for McDonald's. Any kind of junk food which you have is gonna cause you to want to crave it more the next day. I know that's the case with me. So if I'm gonna go and eat out, I'll try and keep it as healthy as possible. For me, you know, I'm a little bit of an emotional eater, so I want something that's gonna make me happy, particularly if I've come home from a great holiday. So sushi or a Nando's would be my two options to go for. 
still satisfies that kind of craving, but it doesn't leave me feeling like crap. And it's easy for me to get back on track the following day. So all the points which I mentioned in the video so far, I think the most important thing is you want to try and crack on with them as quickly as you possibly can do. I know it's easier said than done, but it's just something which you got to do. And I know so many people have done this before. They come back from vacation, they put all these things off, they get into a load of bad habits, they stop going to the gym, they stop eating healthy, they don't do meal prep, and then all of a sudden their body just turns into a complete pudding. And they wonder where it went all wrong and how the hell they're going to get back into the shape they were in before they went on the holiday in the first place. So don't let that be you. Try and get it sorted out as soon as you possibly can do. So thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys soon.